Okay, I ran across this video and I have to share it with you. By now, we've all seen the craziness going on in the United States right now. We've seen how people destroy their own country. We've watched as in 2020, they basically destroyed cities. We watch right now as what we see in the Middle East, people saying that they want the destruction of Israel and the United States, people on American soil. I've seen crazy things recently like gays for Hamas or gays for Palestine. Do they even know that if a gay person goes to Palestine, they will be arrested and possibly executed? I see Jews for Hamas, Jews for Palestine. That's no worse than saying Jews for Hitler. But this is where we're at in this country and so many other things of hypocrisy. But I want you to see this video. I want to share this with you because we have another one, an American communist who's saying we need communists here. But she's approached by a gentleman, a Cuban, who says, why would you want communism here? You can go back to China and go be in a communist country if that's what you want. Why do you want to bring it here? And her answer is just ridiculous. But you got to see this video for yourself. Check it out. I want to share this with you. Um, I'm just asking, what is this? This is a banner and this is a table. <laughs> yeah, well, what, 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 is, what is that? Uh, that, is says, um, that says, are you a communist? Uh, yeah. You're not going to get organized, that's what it says. Yeah. And also under there, it says so, socialist appeal. Yeah. So you're a socialist? Communist and socialist, yeah. you communist and socialist? Yes. Oh, nice. A communist and socialist living in, America, living in America. Now, why would you live here where you can definitely find a place that has communism, a place that definitely has socialism? Why would you stay here and try to bring in here and bring the death and destruction that is associated with this kind of government? Right. We always talk about fascism and stuff, but, you know, the communists and the socialists have killed way more than any fascist has hundreds of millions of deaths involved with communism and socialism yet here she is wanting it and if you probably go against her she'll call you a fascist these people have no idea what they're talking about Where are you from? I'm from China China from China yeah. uh, Baltimore. Baltimore. So from China. Baltimore he said he's just a victim of what I call the American school system why do you think it's a good question, huh? China sucks. China sucks. China sucks. She just said China sucks. But she wants communism. Oh. So why are you promoting that? Because China isn't communist. Oh. China is not communist. No. I think China is. Well, guess what they say. No, it's not what they say, it's the reality. China is the reality. Now, you have permission to promote communists. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. okay, it's fine. This is a public space. I can feel. I mean, you can't film people without their consent. I can. I'm on the public space. I can film anyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How can you come? I'm just having a debate. I don't know. Communist, communist people, this is what communist people do. They run away, they run away when someone has to debate with them. I'm just talking to you, I'm not doing anything bad. No, I know, but we're not. I don't have to debate. I'm Typical of the left. This gentleman from Cuba goes there and asks them, let's debate it. They don't want to do it because they don't want you to know the truth. These people know the truth in reality. For some reason, they think they're going to be better off in a communist dictatorship. They're, they're insane. Listen, I'm from a communist country. I know what communist is. None of you live in a communist regime. She lived in a communist regime and she fled. She left. Why you don't live there? You promoting this rubbish? You promoting this rubbish for what? You know how many people died through communists? Where is your mind? Where is your mind? What capitalism? Oh wow, yeah. But you live here on capitalism. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, please. No, I do, I do, I do, but I'm just having a debate with you. Why are you being rude, man? You are, you are. I'm just talking to you. You offend me, you know why? Because my dad was in jail 15 years for communists. 
just because he couldn't say what he think. Now I'm telling you as a normal person what I think about communists and you're offended because communists are like this. You can't express what you really feel. If you live in a communist country, you will understand what that is. But because you don't live there, this is what you do. You promote something that is very damaged to millions of people for years. And you support that because it's cool. It's not cool, man. You don't understand. It's not, it's not, it's not funny. You know how many people? You, it's not funny. You think it's funny. It offends me when I see people doing that. But I can't say anything because this is a free country. This is a free country. In Cuba, in my country, in my country, you can't do that. You can't promote anything out of communists. Yeah, Only here you can do that. Yeah. Go to fucking communist country and do it there. Why are you doing it here? Confusing people's mind, young people's mind. Confusing young people's mind. Oh my god. Tell me one country, tell me one country that communists walk. You don't even know where you are, man. Stupid idiots, bro. You gotta love this guy. He goes there, calls them out. They don't have an answer. See, this is the problem that's going on in this country is the biggest threat in this country. And this is what we have to start to realize. The biggest and largest threat in this country is academia. The school system is done. It's been infested with communists and socialists. And when you get to higher education, this is what you have. This is why you see all these lunatics running around the streets with pink hair, purple hair, screaming like crazy threatening you because they've been indoctrinated in the higher form of learning which is our college campuses they're doing this to our kids this has to stop they're, they're they don't have their own kids so what they do is they get these kids in the school system that belong to you and they brainwash them they make them hate you they make them hate this country and they make them hate anything that makes sense freedom makes sense and they hate freedom uh, i don't even know what to say i'm just flabbergasted that you would see people in this country american citizens promoting communism well i'll tell you this one thing joseph mccarthy had it right anyway thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon